Kia ora mai, it's Mike Atkinson. This presentation is looking at uh, clipping, so clipping the rope into quick draws. Now the sequence here is looking at the quick draw itself, uh, the importance of having a solid and stable stance, pulling up the rope, clipping techniques and things to watch out for, back clipping and seed clipping. Uh, the parts of the quick draw are usually broken down into three three main parts. You have the straight gate carabiner here, and then you have a sling, dog bone, and they can, as, as it's also known, and they can come in slightly different different lengths and thicknesses or widths, and then the bent gate, bent gate carabiner. And another smaller part is called the keeper, which uh, is sometimes on carabiners uh, on the bent gate banner to help stop this rotating around. Now the straight gate carabiner is the one that clips into bolts or pieces of gear and, and they never clip the rope into the straight gate because what can happen when you take falls on a straight gate into a hanger, it does create a little sharp edge at the top here and if you put then ran the rope through that, you could cut the rope. So straight gate always goes into the bolt and then the rope always goes into the bent gate. So the gate is bent, so it helps, it's easier to uh, to get the rope into the carabiner. Uh, it's really, really important that you have a good stance before you pull up the rope to clip. Now the main reason here, especially if you're close to the ground and you pull up that rope and you're not in a good stance and you fall with the rope here, all this rope, slack rope out before you clip in, then, and this is the second bolt, which it is on this climb, then you're going to hit the ground. So you need to make sure that your feet are in a good, solid position, a good handhold if you can with the other hand, and and you're in a solid, stable position. One common mistake is that people try and clip too early, and so they're stretching up higher here, and they haven't made uh, another move to get into that solid position, so they try and clip when they're too low down and need to make another move or so. And so most, most bolts should be placed around shoulder or head height, so you shouldn't have to stretch too far. Cool. Something to watch out for is back clipping. Now, back clipping is when uh, the rope is 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 clipped backwards into the bent gate carabiner. So we'll look at that in the next slide. But this one here, you want to have the rope here coming up against the rock from the B layer through the bent gate carabiner down towards your the climber's harness here. That's, that's how it should come through properly. Back clipped is when it's around the other way. And you can see in this first image here, so this is the rope coming up from the B layer through the carabiner to the climber. So if they fell then, it's going to fall cleanly onto this um, the bend up here, so that's the correct way. The incorrect way is the other way, it's going through the carabiner and out to the back side of it. Now if you take this up to the right hand images here, so you can see what happens if they take a fall here, it, can, it potentially could run across the gate of the bend up, open up and come out of the carabiner, the rope could come out of the carabiner, so I want to both the climber and the B layer be aware of the back clipping and change it. Z clipping is another thing to watch out for. This is when the, you've got two bolts close together and the climber clips one bolt and then they reach, go, go to clip the next bolt and they reach down below, they get the rope below the last bolt rather than above it and clip that in um, and you create the Z in the rope. So just be aware of that and ways to avoid that when bolts are close together is that the climber grabs the rope from near the knot of the, on the harness and pulls the rope up from there rather than reaching um, down below that.